On this planet, there are many different diverse and competitive ecosystems. In these ecosystems, many animals struggle to survive, but some species have an edge over their competition. Adaptations are unique characteristics that allow animals to survive in their environment. These adaptations can be both physical and behavioral, and can help a certain animal to catch its prey or to avoid predators. In this video, I'll be going through just a few of the best animal adaptations, as I'll be going through five species with game-changing adaptations. And for our first species, we'll be heading over over to a small group of islands in Indonesia, as we have the Komodo dragon. This lizard is a member of the monitor lizard family, and is the largest extant species of lizard. They can measure over 3 meters long, and can weigh up to 166 kilograms. To put that into perspective, that's around the same size as an American black bear, or two Javan pigs. This lizard is named after the island it can be found on, but can also be found on other small islands in the same area. Although it is restricted to these islands today, these lizards were once found in Australia, but were to have disappeared from here around 50,000 years ago, which roughly coincides with the arrival of humans to the continent. In the wild, these reptiles are normally found around tropical forests, but can walk up to 7 miles a day in search of food. This food can come in many different forms, as they will happily eat carrion, as well as large mammals such as deer and pigs, and even other smaller Komodo dragons. Komodo dragon attacks on humans are very rare, but over the last 5 decades, Komodo dragons have killed at least 4 people. These fatalities occurred in 19 1974, 2000, 2007, and 2009. Although the stories of these attacks can be very scary, these reptiles would much rather raid graves, and people on the islands in which they're found often have to pile rocks over their loved ones, as these Komodo dragons are more than happy to eat corpses. One of the Komodo dragon's impressive adaptations is the fact that they can reproduce asexually. This means that when no males are present, females can still lay a viable clutch of eggs, and soon after, tiny Komodo dragons will appear. Although this adaptation is an impressive way to get around the lack of breeding males. It's not this reptile's most impressive adaptation. To be able to take down the largest prey items on the islands in which they're found, the Komodo dragon has an edge over its competition. For years it was believed that the Komodo dragon's bite was very deadly, mainly down to the bacteria found in its mouth. This theory changed in 2009, when a venom researcher at the University of Melbourne in Australia found that the Komodo dragon is one of the few venomous lizards on the planet today. Instead of injecting its venom through fangs, the venom gets into its prey through the gashes it makes when biting them. This venom rapidly decreases the blood pressure of its prey, and also increases blood loss. This often sends the prey into shock, and means that they can die from just one bite from the Komodo dragon. So even though this reptile has no venom injecting fangs, it still has one of the most dangerous bites in the world. But for our next species, we'll be heading over to Sub-Saharan Africa, as we have the Secretary Bird. Now this bird is a mostly terrestrial bird of prey, and is normally found in grassland and savanna habitat. As you can tell by the looks of this bird, it is very unique and it is the only member of its family. They can reach a height of around 1.3 meters tall, and although it has a wingspan of around 2 meters, it rarely ever flies, and prefers to have its legs firmly on the ground. One of the few times they do fly is when performing for mating displays, and when tending to their nests. They usually create their nests on top of thorny trees, and secretary birds are known to mate for life. Sadly, this impressive bird's numbers have been declining in recent years, as many of their grasslands and habitats are cleared to use for cattle. This bird's impressive adaptation is very easy to see, as their game-changing adaptations are their very long legs. These legs not only help them see over long grasses, but also help them dispatch their prey. Their scientific name means the Archer of the Snakes, and these are just some of the prey items that this bird targets. They use their large wings to distract their prey, and then kick at them with impressive speed. This hunting method is very impressive, and they are known to be very brutal, even targeting cheetah cubs. So although this bird's appearance may be quite goofy, it is a very efficient killer. But for our next species, we'll be heading to the USA and northern Mexico, as we have the Texas Horned Lizard. Now this lizard is one of 14 North American horned lizards, and these lizards all belong to the same genus. This lizard is most commonly found in the Sonoran Desert, yet there are introduced populations in both the Carolinas, as well as Georgia and Florida. This is because they are popular pets, and many of them have been released or have escaped. Now as you can tell from looking at this lizard, it has incredible camouflage and can be very hard to spot in the wild. As well as this camouflage, it's also covered in spikes, and this acts as a deterrent for would-be predators. In the wild, this lizard's diet is mostly made out of harvester ants, but it will also supplement this diet with termites, beetles, and grasshoppers. In recent years, this lizard's numbers have declined by around 30%, and there are a few reasons behind this. Some blame has been put on the overuse of pesticides, but they have also been affected by the spread of non-native fire ants. These ants are highly aggressive and fiercely territorial, 
territorial and can totally eradicate harvester ants colonies. Because of this decline, many protections have been put in place and hopefully their numbers will increase in the future. But as well as human related factors, this lizard also has to look out for natural predators. When this reptile is cornered by a would-be predator, it has an impressive adaptation to get away unscathed. They flood their ocular sinuses with blood and as a last resort, they will shoot blood from their eyes at the predator. In most cases, the predator is frightened and confused and swiftly leaves. So in the whole animal kingdom, this must be one of the most inventive ways of getting rid of a predator. For our next species, we'll be staying in North America, but more specifically the Northeast, as we have the star-nosed mole. These mammals inhabit wet lowland areas of North America, where they lead a mostly subterranean lifestyle. To deal with life underground, these moles have impressive digging hands and claws and are able to dig tunnels extremely quickly. Because eyes are mostly useless underground, it's pretty much completely blind and relies on its other senses. As well as being able to dig very quickly, the star-nosed mole is thought to be the world's fastest eater. They mostly feed on insects and worms, and when it comes across a prey item, it can take as short as 120 milliseconds to eat its prey. One of the first things you may notice about the star-nosed mole is its star nose. This appendage can look like it's straight out of a horror movie, and almost looks like it has an octopus on the front of its face. Of course, this nose is a highly sensitive touch organ, and is covered in more than 25,000 minute sensory receptors. This star is the most sensitive touch organ known to any mammal, and they can even help the mole detect seismic wave vibrations from its surroundings. So although their faces may look grotesque to some, they are the owners of one of the most sensitive touch organs in the world. But for our final species, we'll be heading over to the western coast of South Africa, as with the armadillo girdled lizard. This lizard is endemic to the desert areas on the western coast of South Africa, where it's usually found in succulent biomes. In these areas, this lizard is a predator, mostly feeding on small invertebrates in the form of insects and spiders. They usually live in social groups of around 30 to 60, and in these groups, the males are generally territorial. Although this lizard is listed as least concern, their numbers are decreasing, mostly due down to their popularity in the pet trade. They are often captured and sold illegally, but in the wild, they are also affected by fluctuations in their primary food source, termites. In the wild, this reptile can reach a maximum size of around 20 centimeters, and although this is somewhat impressive, this size also makes them a target for many predators in their area. Most of this lizard's predators come in the form of birds of prey, but when these birds swoop in to attack, they may experience one of the most unique anti-predator adaptations. This lizard will roll up into a ball and bite onto its tail and hold it in its mouth. This makes its body resemble a spiky circle and makes it very hard for birds to swallow them. This impressive defensive position saves it from many birds of prey and also resembles the defensive strategy of the armadillo, which is how they got their name. So although this lizard may look quite ordinary, it does have a very unique anti-predator adaptation. If you know of any other creatures that could have made it on this list then let me know down in the comments below but thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed if you liked it please leave a like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like these but until next time goodbye